Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Science Kid. Today we are going to see about cells. Plant cell, the animal cell and the human cell. Before we see their characteristics, first let's, let us know what is a cell. As you see in the picture, cells look like this very small even if we can see cells we can't we can't count them they are countless so without further ado let's see what is a cell the definition of a cell the cell is the basic structural functional and biological unit of all known organisms the plants the animals and the humans a cell is the smallest unit of life. Cells are often called the building blocks of life. How you build something with blocks? The same cells. We are built with cells. Without cells, we can never live. There are two types of cells in our human body. RBC and WBC, which is known as red blood cells and white blood cells. We'll get into it. Now we saw, now you know basically what is a cell. Now let's see what is a plant cell. Now let's see what is a plant cell. Like all organisms, plants have cells. Plant cells have a nucleus with chromosomes and DNA. And they have mitochondria. Those are all common to all cells. But in some ways they are different from animal cells. Now before I go more detail into it, let's see the parts of the plant cells. The parts of the plant cell are cytoplasm, nucleus, cell wall, cell membrane and mitochondria. There are many many more complicated parts. Let's just see the basic parts which I told now are the basic parts. Knowing them which will be enough. Now let's go more detail into the characteristics of those parts. Plants, plant cells have cell walls composed of cellulose and some other compounds. And there are special cell to cell communication pathways known as plasmodesmata. And the most notable are the chloroplasts which contain chlorophyll. This is the green pigment. This is the green colored pigment absorbs sunlight and allows the plant to make its own food by photosynthesis. They have a large central vacuole. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention the large vacuole. The large central vacuole, a water filled volume enclosed by a membrane. The vacuole keeps the cell stirrer, controls movement of molecules between the cytosol and sap stores useful material and digests waste, proteins and some unwanted things. Okay, now we saw what is a plant cell, what are the parts of a plant cell and what are the characteristics of all the plant cells. Okay, now let's see the animal cell. Let's see about the animal cell. Animal cells are the basic unit of life in organisms of the kingdom of animals. They are eukaryotic cells, meaning they, that they have a true nucleus and specialized structures called organelles that carry out different functions. Animal cells don't have cell walls or chloroplasts that plants have. Before I get into more detail, let us see the parts of the animal cell. The parts of the animal cell are the cell membrane, the nucleus and the cytoplasm. There are more parts but these are the basic parts which is enough for us to understand and to know what it is. So. Now let's see the characteristics of these parts. Let's start with the nucleus. The nucleus contains a cell's DNA, its genetic material. And 
now let's see about the chloroplast the chloroplast is a network of filaments and tubules found throughout the animal cell it is also found throughout the plant cell i'm sorry i forgot to explain this in the plant cell now i'm explaining in the animal cell this is the same in plant cell animal cell and the human cell a common thing and now let's see about the cell membrane the cell membrane surrounds the entire cell for plants the cell wall and cell membrane surrounds the entire cell but for animal no it's only the cell membrane animal cells and human cells don't have cell membrane now we know what is an animal cell what are the basic parts of an animal cell and what are the characteristics of the parts of an animal cell now let's see about the human cells which is my favorite which will also be your favorite maybe so now let's see about the human cell let's see about the human cell there are no differences there are only some differences between the animal cell and human cell the same thing which i told about the animals the same is in the humans there's nothing different because we also came from animals right we to have some of the same dna of animals right so i don't need to tell much about the human cell but i'll tell the two types of cells which present which present which is present in our blood the rbc and wbc i told in the start these are called red blood cells and white blood cells so the red blood cell nothing much to say but the white blood cells is that increases that is a immunity power you know when viruses or bacteria enters our body for example don't take it serious for example if we get corona virus if that corona virus comes inside us this this is the these are the blood cells which fight with the virus there's no medicine right see not only corona virus if any bacteria or any virus enters our body these white blood cells will be the first one to fight against them and send them out of our body what a great thing you know we should actually be happy god has created us these white blood cells work so hard they work all 24 hours can we work all 24 hours no but our body works each and every part of the body works 24 hours it's a great magic right so without further ado let's complete the video if you enjoyed the video please support us by liking sharing subscribing and you can comment and you can even comment your doubts below i will surely reply to it thank you have a nice day and a great tomorrow i'll see you in an, in the next video thank you thank you for watching